Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to be talking about the Michigan uh, race weekend for the Cubs and Xfinity series. But before we get into that, let's talk about Richmond, which is the next race for the Cup and the Truck series. So the Xfinity series will have a week off. So let's just get started with all of the uh, with on um, the schedule. So Saturday is going to be very jam packed. 3 p.m. Eastern Time will be practice for the Truck Series, of which will be on FS1. 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time will be qualified also for the Truck Series, that will be also on FS1. Cup Series uh, uh, practice outside of 5.05 p.m. Eastern Time, that will that'll be on USA, Peacock, MRN, and Series XM. 5.50 p.m. Eastern Time will be qualifying for the Cup Series, that will be also on USA, Peacock, MRN, and Series XM. And then at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, will be the Truck Series race for the running union of the World Wide Express 250 for carrier uh, appreciation. That'll be on FS1, MRN, and Sirius XM. And then finally, on Sunday, will be uh, at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, will be the Cup Series for the running of the Federated Auto Parts 400. That'll be on USA, Peacock, MRN, and Sirius XM. Also, not like, comment, subscribe, it will really help me. And let's get into the results, shall we? So. Let's get into the results and first start off with the Xfinity series and that was won by Ty Gibbs. In second place, Justin Allgaier, the No Gregson, Brennan Jones, Austin Hill, Josh Berry, AJ Armendinger, Daniel Hemrick, Riley Herbs, and Landon Castle ran out of the top ten. Then Sheldon Creed, Sammy Smith, Brandon Brown, Anthony Alfredo, Ryan C, Kyle Weatherman. Shout out to him, actually he qualified eighth place and then Jesse Wuji most for his equipment. My Snyder, Kaz Grala, John Hunter Nemechek, and JJ Yaley ran out of the top twenty. Another person I also shout out in the qualifying uh, was Brandon Brown, who qualified in top 10 in 10th place, and Jillian Bassett, who I think qualified in 14th place, which is really, really impressive. Um, so, three drivers failed to qualify that being Brennan Poole, Akanao Ogata, and Jordan Anderson. To the rear, only five drivers went to the rear, that being Bailey Curry, David Starr, and CJ McLaughlin. They went to the rear due to unimproved adjustments, while Bailey Per. No, Bailey. Blaine Perkins and Matt Mills, they went to the rear due to an engine change. Blaine Perkins is now running the Al Motorsports 02 car um, because Brad Malfoy couldn't for any more, any more sponsorship. It's also the first time as well that I would not be showing any videos uh, for the Xfinity series because nothing really happened. Lap 30, Noel Gregson wins Stage 1. He actually started both of the Sages, Stage 1 and Stage 2. Lap, 50, uh, lap 41, CJ McLaughlin gets into the wall. Matt Mills also into the wall as well, just to avoid. Uh, lap 53, David Sark gets spun out by Dylan Bassett. Lap 125, Ty Gibbs wins the new Holland 250, his fifth win of the season. Um, so it was pure domination, actually, by Ty Gibbs. The Greg, Gregson was also there as well. Obviously, he picks up two playoff points. Ty Gibbs picks up five playoff points, which is still pretty big. Nothing's really changing in the playoff bracket, I will say. For the Xfinity series, <clears throat> so so we'll, we'll have a look at the other finishes outside of the top twenty. Uh, no ones really to really talk about. Not really. I mean, Sam A. He had a horrible, horrible day. Um, he nothing really went, went went for his way, so he didn't have a good time. I must say uh, here at Michigan. Um, yeah, finishes thirty third place. Not. Uh, not good at all, and obviously there's Matt Mills, CJ, CJ McLaughlin, Josh, Josh Williams also left, also retired uh, with an electrical issue, and then David Starr with a hub issue, I think it's just a tire hub. So, that is legit all for the Xfinity series, it was very very short, um, not, 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 yeah, I mean, not, not a lot, things really happened, um, but either way, that is how it is. However, the Cup series, that was something else I must say. The Cup Series, when I was won by Kevin Harvick, who explodes the playoff racket, it just explodes the playoff picture because of this win. In second place, Bubba Wallace, who qualified in pole position. Then Denny Hamlin, Joe Logano, Ryan Blaney, Martin Truex Jr., Kyle Larson, Eric Jones, Alex Bowman, and also shout out to Ty Gibbs, who finished in 10th place. He's first ever top 10 um, in the Cup Series and only at the age of 19. I think. Uh, it, um, if Kurt Busch actually does retire pretty early, or if Kyle Busch can't get into, can't actually sign with Joe Gibbs Racing, Ty Gibbs is pr most definitely ready for the Cup Series. And then we got Chase Elliott in 11th place, William Byron, Austin Dillon, Ty Dillon, Brad Kozlowski, Chris Buescher, Justin Haley, 
Also, shout out to Austin Hill as well, who finished inside of the top 20. Cooler Joy and Chase Briscoe ran out of the top 20. Uh, so, no one failed to qualify, and, no, and surprisingly, no one went to the rear. So, everyone are good people. So, good job to the drivers and to the teams. Um, show a video of this, lap 25, and a restart. Michael McDowell and JJ Yearly make contact, which causes a 9-car accident. Involve other than McDowell and Yaley, Austin Sindrick, Eric Armrola, Kyle Busch, Harrison Burton, Todd Gillen, Ty Gibbs, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Now, I think uh, Gibbs didn't get a lot of damage, so yeah, no no, no surprises there. I think everyone else, I, I think um, uh, I think Sindrick retired, Armrola retired, Yaley retired. I think everyone else retired except for uh, Ty Gibbs, so he was. Uh, I, I think, I mean, I think everyone else um, retired other than Ty Gibbs, so Gibbs was very, very lucky of not, um, uh, of not, um, retiring from that accident, but it was a very silly accident, especially from JJ Ailey, who basically stayed out, or I, I, th I think they stayed out because of, um, uh, because I should love 20, there was a competition caution, so, it's probably the reason why, y why Ailey was up in, like, the mid-pack, um, very, very silly. That should not have happened, but um, it is what it is, I guess. We can't really change anything about that. Lap 45, Christopher Bell wins stage 1. I think that's his second win of the of, uh, this season. Or well, second win stage of the season, but I might be wrong about that. Lap 98, Cole Custer's front tire catches on fire. Lap 109, no Gregson spins out. Uh, lap 120, Danny Hamlin wins stage 2. So I think that's his third stage win of the season. Lab 160, Christopher Bell will get into the war due to clearing himself on chassis. It was pretty stupid chassis, it was on fresher tires. Should not fight that, but I mean, if you want to do that, then be my guest. Lab 200, Kevin Harvick wins the fight keepers casino 400, breaking his 65 race winless streak. Yeah, he hasn't won since 2020. He hasn't won two years when he had that amazing nine, like, what was it, like nine wins in a season. I, I, I think that's the same with Truex and Hamlin. Hamlin, Kyle Busch, um, because obviously those, th those three, they were called the big three in 2020, so, I'm happy that Harvard finally gets to, finally gets the win, I'm really happy about that, um, but that does explode the playoff picture, especially if you're a Martin Truex Jr. fan, uh, let's have a look at the other finishes outside of the top 20, Ross Chastain, Daniel Suarez, they were, were unlucky due to, uh, pit stops, I think they played pretty early, so they were kind of screwed over there. Christopher Bell down in 26. Let's talk a little Michael McDowell, who involved in the wreck. Tyler Reddick had, had an engine issue, and everyone else had an accident. No Grouse and Cole Custer. Harrison Burton, Ricky Zanales Jr., Eric Armola, JJ Ailey, Kyle Bush, and also Sinjuk down in last place. So, he has the you know, I guess his 59th career win. I think that. Does that move him? Uh, I, I, because I, I know. I think he's in the top 10 of. Sorry, of most wins um, in the Cup Series, so I don't know if that actually moves him forward or not. I actually, I generally don't know, but either way, congratulations to Kevin Harvick for getting his first win since 2020, and to Ty Gibbs for getting his first ever top 10 in the Cup Series. So let's now move over to the standings. We'll first start off in the Xfinity Series. This is what it looks like here. Uh, Ty Gibbs is currently in the lead of the playoff picture, only by four points. Um, if, uh, in front of Noah Gregson and AJ Ombudinger. Then we got Justin Allgaier, Josh Berry, Austin Hill, Brennan Jones, Sam Mayer, Riley Herbst, Daniel Hemrick, Ryan Seek, Landon Castle, inside of the playoff picture. Outside, outside of the playoff picture, however, is currently, is currently Sheldon Creed, minus 52, below the cut line. I have a quick look also on the regular season, only do the top 10, I guess. Armadinger, Allgaier, Gibbs, Gregson, Berry, Hill, Jones, Herbst, Mayer, and Hamrick inside of the top 10. You can obviously have a look at the other ones. Well, there's Brent Martha down in 16th place who's not running at all this season uh, anymore. Because I think maybe maybe Blaine Perkins may um, may replace him for next season. We just have to wait and see though. Um, but yeah, so no, yeah, so no lot of changes there. Um, in the Xfinity Series playoffs, but a lot has changed in the Cup Series, however. This is what the playoff bracket looks like for the Cup Series. So, obviously there's like the normal Chase Elliott in first, and Chas and Logano, Ryan Blaney is now the only, um, he's, he's now the only driver who doesn't have a win is currently in the playoffs. He's currently 19 points in front of Martin Shrux Jr. Yeah, that... <laughs> 
and like what? So we're, so we're going to like Richmond, Watkins Glen, and Daytona. I will not be surprised if there's three different winners in the in, in, in the next three races. And what the hell's going to happen? Is Alex Bowman going to be out of the playoffs? Is Austin Stewart going to be out of the playoffs? Daniel Suarez, Kevin Harvick. What is going to happen if there are more than 16 drivers in the playoffs? I guess like, like they're probably going to do like the, whoever has the most playoff points, they're probably going to be in it. Um, but it's crazy to me still that there's an actual chance that there will be more than 16 winners in this season. I, I, I think that's unheard of. I was in the behind Blaney in fourth place. Well, in fifth place now is William Byron, Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, Tyler Reddick, Christopher Bell, Kyle Busch, uh, who ran out of the top 10 in the playoffs. Then Chase Briscoe, Kurt Busch, who will be still in the playoffs even though he missed out on two races. Um, Kevin Harvick, Daniel Suarez, Austin Sinjic, and Alex Bowman. Those are the playoff drivers. Currently, Martin Truex Jr. is 19 points behind Ryan Blaney. He's so close um, of making it to the playoffs. He's right there. And obviously, if Ryan Blaney has a horrible position, uh, finishes horribly at Richmond, and, and Martin Truex Jr. gets into like the top 5 or even the top 10, he will be in front of Ryan Blaney. And Blaney is in second place. Like, what the fuck is happening this season in, in the Cup Series? It's just craziness now. I look at the at the regular season standings as well. Obviously, it's Elliot who has a massive lead in, in the regular season standings. I would not be surprised if if um like, I, I I I think Elliot uh Elliot has secured his regular season championship. Like this is this I mean he's 199. Uh, he's he's currently 119 points in front of Ryan Blaney. There's no shot Blaney makes that makes that much of like that, that makes that much of a points margin against Elliot. Now it's behind Elliot and Blaney in third place: Chassin, Truex, Larson, Logano, Bell, Kyle Busch, Harvick, and Byron. Right out top ten. And then there's obviously everyone else: Bowman, Reddick, Suarez, Jones, Briscoe, Sendrick, Hamlin, Amarola, Wallace, and Kurt Busch. So that's really about it for me. Just a reminder that the next race will be at Richmond. Uh, for the cup and the truck series. So that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys all next time in the next one. Goodbye